So, for this video, I wanted to discuss the possibility of the Breaking Bad characters Badger and Skinny Pete potentially appearing in the upcoming fourth season of Better Call Saul. <laughs> In a previous video on the subject of the potential plot of Tuco appearing in Season 4 of Better Call Saul, I discussed the possibility of there being a scene of Tuco in the prison Los Lunas in Season 4. In this video, I also discussed the potential of Skinny Pete appearing in the same hypothetical prison scene alongside Tuco in Season 4, based on the dialogue from Season 1 of Breaking Bad in the episode entitled Crazy Handful of Nothing. So you know that guy we were talking about, Tuco? Turns out my boy Skinny Pete was in the same cell block with him over at Los Lunas. So we got her in. We're all on a pound to the dude right now. So, following Tuco not appearing in Season 3 of Better Call Saul, it would be really cool to see Tuco as well as Skinny Pete in a scene in prison in Season 4. As a side note, regarding the three characters in Jesse Pinkman's crew, Skinny Pete is the only character whose real name is not revealed to us in Breaking Bad. While we do hear Skinny Pete refer to himself as Peter in Season 3 of Breaking Bad in the episode entitled Abiquiu, My name is Brandon, and this is, I believe, Peter. How are you? No last name of Skinny Pete is ever revealed, so it would be interesting to see if the writers decide to reveal a full name for Skinny Pete if he were to be introduced into the plot of Season 4 of Better Call Saul. Going back to the potential plot of Tuco and Skinny Pete in Los Lunas, it would also be pretty cool for the writers to somehow incorporate Badger into a plot of this capacity as well, but I think this might be difficult due to the dialogue from Season 2 of Breaking Bad. In the episode entitled Better Call Saul in Season 2, we hear some information revealed about Badger's criminal history. But we're in good shape. Mr. White, Badger's way too loyal to roll. Plus, he's scared shitless of me. All right, we pay for large, cost of business. Take it out of his payroll. And it's only his first dealing rep, so worst case scenario, you know, they plead him out. He does five months picking up litter in an orange jumpsuit. Due to the fact that it appears that Badger has not been incarcerated before this period of time during season two of Breaking Bad, I think it would be unlikely to see Badger in the prison Los Lunas alongside Tuco and Skinny Pete in a plot of this capacity. With this being said, in addition to Badger and Skinny Pete potentially appearing in season four of Better Call Saul, I think we could hypothetically see Combo appear in season four of Better Call Saul as well. However, I believe it is unlikely that we will see Combo in the aforementioned hypothetical prison scene due to the dialogue of Breaking Bad as well. In Season 2 of Breaking Bad in the episode entitled ABQ, following Combo's death in Season 2, we hear the DEA discuss some background information regarding Combo. Christian Ortega, aka Combo, shot dead by an unknown assailant last month. Combo, I hear you say? Why, I'm unfamiliar with that name. Was he a Nobel laureate, perchance? No, he was a dipshit wannabe banger. Now, no arrests. Say for stealing a baby Jesus from Knights of Columbus Manger back when he was 17, this dude was so low rep, he never showed up on our radar. So, like Badger, based on the dialogue of Breaking Bad, it appears that Combo was also not incarcerated before we first met him in Breaking Bad in Season 1. So while it would be cool to hypothetically see Badger and Combo in Los Lunas Prison alongside Tuco and Skinny Pete, it appears that their appearance would be an error in continuity. So if we were to see Badger and Combo make an appearance in Better Call Saul in Season 4, it would seemingly have to happen via a different plot. With this being said, based on the trend of Breaking Bad characters being introduced into the plot of Better Call Saul in each of the first three seasons so far, I would be extremely surprised if we do not see any additional Breaking Bad characters appear in Season 4 of Better Call Saul. However, at the same time, as I've mentioned in my previous videos, the writers will most certainly have to do their due diligence in cultivating compelling plots involving these characters that do not come across as too forced and unnatural, in addition to avoiding the potential of the appearance of these characters overshadowing the plot of the episode that they appear in. Generally speaking, through the first three seasons of Better Call Saul, I feel the writers have done an excellent job accounting for these potential pitfalls when introducing Breaking Bad characters into the plot of Better Call Saul. While I've talked about several Breaking Bad characters in my previous videos who could potentially appear in Season 4 of Better Call Saul, due to the fact that there are only 10 episodes in Season 4 and a lot of plot left to tell regarding the main protagonist of Better Call Saul, Jimmy McGill, and his transformation into Saul Goodman, some of these Breaking Bad cameos may have to wait until Season 5. So, with all this being said, as the plot of Better Call Saul begins to incorporate the plot of Breaking Bad in greater substance, I am very much looking forward to seeing which Breaking Bad characters the writers will display next in Season 4 as they continue to utilize the plot and dialogue of Breaking Bad to the maximum of its potential in the pursuit of their goal of telling a captivating and compelling prequel to Breaking Bad. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, make sure to check out the other Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad videos on my channel, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos. My name is Anton Jackson, thanks again for watching. That just happened.